what's legit lovely welcome back to the channel in this video i'm recreating a video that i made about nine months ago on my channel about sims 3 sliders now, if you're unfamiliar with what a sims 3 slider is a sims 3 slider is basically like a mod for the sims 3 that allows you to have more detailed sims and it allows more manipulation of body parts and all that stuff to make them different sizes and whatnot so like i said i did make a video like this about nine months ago and to this day i still get comments on the video with a lot of confusion and the links being down and i wanted to really recreate the video in a good way i am better at making videos now i have uploaded all the sliders to a better like website the link won't go down this time just really wanted to redo the video so that there's less confusion and i should have done this a lot sooner but we are just getting to it now with that being said, I have in front of me um, a link of a master list of sliders. So if you want to download each slider separately, go to this website. It's by Shock and Shame, shockshame.tumblr.com. The link will be in the description below directly to this page and just to their blog. It tells you what happens if you don't have the mods folder, a quick tour on how to download and install everything, which I will show you guys how to do regardless. But it's just all on the website. And then it shows you all the sliders that are available for Sims and pets now you can download them one by one some of these sliders may not be available anymore hence why i decided to upload my own folder of all the sliders now i uploaded it to sims file share so this is a zip folder all i have to do is click download and it'll download open it it's a very small file folder it's only 5.6 megabytes so just open the rar file which should open any second but in the meantime go to your documents electronic arts sims 3 in mods folder so we'll bring this over to the side now go to your packages folder if you merge your custom content with anything whether it be cc magic sims 3 package editor whatever i repeat do not merge your sliders or any game mods do not do it simply for the fact that i've heard of people having issues after they merge and i've heard of people not having issues after they've merged their sliders to be safe please do not merge your sliders. Now, I'm telling you this, whether or not you choose to do it is up to you, but just I wouldn't recommend it just in case. So, it'll bring you to a folder after you open the RAR folder right here. It says all S3 sliders, legit lovely. In this folder, I've included all 333 of the sliders that I have in my game. None of them conflict with each other as far as I'm concerned, and I've been using these sliders for about three years now. None of these sliders conflict. They're all mo um, like corrupt tested. There's nothing wrong with these packages at all. All I suggest you do is drag and drop into your mods packages folder. Like I said, do not merge these files. I already have it in here, so I'm not going to be drop it. You go from there. Now, now that it's in your game, a mod that I suggest you get is NRAS Master Controller for The Sims 3. Search it up, or you can use the link in the description. It'll bring you to this website. Okay, scroll down get the base mod you don't need to get all this extra stuff just to do what i do with the sliders you need the base mod click base mod go down here and click download once again it's another small file it's just a mod one package go to your documents electronic arts sims 3 mods package folder sorry i had to go through the list of the the file location and then all you have to do is drag and drop it in you can put it in a game mods folder. Um, you can put it in any folder that you have separated as far as in your mods folder. But like I said with the sliders, do not merge this. Recommend in general that you don't merge any game mods. Merge any game mods. Just merge CC. Like as far as like hair, clothes, shoes, all that stuff. But do not merge any mods or files or packages that will affect your game in the way that it runs. I just don't recommend it. So I do have my master controller in my game mods folder. It is right here. So all you have to do after that is load up your game and then I'll show you guys how to use the sliders and how I enable the master controller to have a different effect on my sliders. When I say that, I mean that I have my slider set to a higher multiplier. I usually have my multiplier and my NRAS set to five times for the body and facial sliders. So any slider that I use will have five times the magnifying or minimizing effect that they usually would on the sim. So I'm going to jump right in the game and show you guys how to access the NRAS menu if you are using a new save. So, you can't just go into the world or the town in the new save and click create a household. You have to click three, three dots, you have to edit town. That's how you have to enter, you know, the game. Then you have to click create a household. So, I'm in create a sim, I loaded up my sim. It can be a brand new sim, it doesn't have to be an old sim, whatever. 
But I just wanted to show you guys quickly that you can definitely tell that my sim uses some, whoa, she spun really fast, that my sim uses some custom sliders, because with base game sliders, my sim would not look like this, and I'm not saying she's like awful gorgeous or awful unique or anything, but I'm saying that I was able to add a lot more details to her due to the fact that I use custom sliders. So when you enter create a sim through edit town, you want to right click um, with your mouse on the options menu. Now normally the option menu would come up like the normal option menu, but this comes up. This is a NRAS create a sim uh, menu. So there are, is one thing that you definitely need to do and some things that you may not need to do in order for the sliders to work. First thing that you definitely need to do is go to max sliders and create a sim. Now I set this to 5,000 no matter what because I obviously don't have 5,000 sliders, but it was just a random number that I came up with became habit whenever I entered a new save to set max sliders to create a sim This is how many sliders that you can actually use in your create a sim once because you only have 333 sliders in your game that I'm giving you to download I would go with possibly 400 or 500 because with the base game sliders and this custom sliders it'll be around 500 but I just set to 5,000 it's much easier and if I download more sliders I'll never have to adjust the number at all set that to 5,000 the higher the number won't affect the, your game, won't make your game laggy or anything, I promise. Next thing that I do is I set my slider multiple to 5. This will make it so that whenever I slide the slider to fix either the lip shape or the eyebrow shape or whatever slider it is, it'll have 5 times the effect as it normally would. That's why my details um, on my sim are so, you not unique, but so precise and so like fine-tuned because I have this set to 5. Now you can set your facial sliders different from your body sliders. Let me quickly explain that. I have them both set to five so that they're even. A body slider is not a slider that says leg width. A body slider only pertains to these sliders right here. So I don't really use these sliders that often, but if I do, they're set to five times the multiplier because that's what I have my facial slider set to. Now just because these are body sliders doesn't mean that you don't have other sliders. The other sliders that you have are the what they call facial sliders. So they're in all the different body parts. They're all separated. Most of the leg body parts are under mouth. Most of the nose are under nose. Um, just different things like that. The head um, area usually has like the height and all that stuff. But these are what they consider facial sliders. So I want you to know that if you set your body multiplier to five and you go and you find a like a, a slider that says sim height, something that you would think would be a body slider, it's actually a facial slider. So I just set both of them to five to be safe. I just want to let you guys know about that because I did confuse me at first too. So that's really how you take care of that. Now I'm going to show you how to enter NRAS and access this menu if you already have a save made and you already are running with a save file. So the last way I want to show you guys how to enter the NRAS menu is if you're already in a save, like you ha already have a save going, whatever, for whatever reason, whether it's a gameplay save, a picture taking save, whatever. Ignore the fact that I'm in my save and my sim is posing. I was taking some pictures. All you have to do is to enter, create a sim, and access the NRAS menu when you're already in a save is left click on your sim, hit NRAS, master controller. It finally decided to work. Thanks. Oh God, now it's going to take more advanced edit and create a sim okay oh boy it took forever for this thing to load it shouldn't take that long in your game keep in mind any lag that you ever see in my games i have 40 gigabytes of custom content in both the sims 3 and the sims 4 so your girl has her own issues with her computer and the sims not loading for obvious reasons like i do it to myself it's my fault like uh, nah. all right you're in create a sim because you did it this way through our save First of all, let's just appreciate how beautiful Raina is. Follow my Instagram at CozyPixels, C-O-Z-Y-P-Y-X-E-L-S, to view her story. Shameless self-promo. Right-click on the options, the three dots. Wow, same menu. There you go. Follow the steps I told you to take earlier. Set your max size 5,000. Set your multipliers to whatever you want. And you're all set. So basically, that's a little more in-depth, well-structured, better tutorial on how to use Sims 3 sliders compared to the one that I made almost a year ago. I think it was like nine months ago, or maybe a year, nine months. I honestly can't remember. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on all my social medias that are, you know, conveniently linked in the description below. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you on the next video. I also stream on YouTube as often as possible. 
so just subscribe for that too um you'll get my video notifications am i going live notifications like what i live stream i'm a, I'm a streamer and a youtuber it's crazy out here but i love you guys so much and i'll see you on the next video stay lovely bye everyone i don't appreciate the lag <laughs>